Accorda, Edion Sharish, and Grimal with Dashboard, Dakios, Gilder, and Monobel Shadain to hand the fan of and uh, could you please follow the Instagram.com for slash spree underscore snap underscore screw the hat? I'll just tell me their YouTube question. Just so subscribe, like, Ryan. Okay, Ryan is a share. If you wouldn't mind just a bit of support, it would be absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. I'll just tell me you can land link to arrive the official new and niche. Come on, good. So today's lesson is based on uh, the Talavuk, the possessive adjective referring to someone owning something. Okay, so this is really, really common commonly used and um, something that would be very evident in the oral exam and very basic Irish in general. So it's just like what happens when we put my in front of a word. So my pen, what happens to when we put my in front of it, what happens in Irish. So it's just kind of like making sure we're not going to make silly mistakes and lose out on marks that like might be very easily taken up or very easily lost when it comes to an essay or an oral exam um, type situation. So just before we start, I suppose the most important thing you know is what a shavu is and what an uru is. So an uru is, uh, if you look at one of my previous videos, it's on shavus and uru, what are they and how to use them. And um, it kind of explains like in more detail as to what a shavu and an uru is and when they're used. But basically a shavu is a H in a word that would be added to the word and uru is the letter that goes before a word. Okay, so if you're not fully certain on what a shavu and uru is, check out my other video um, and that will kind of make things a bit clearer for you. All right, so we're just looking at my first. So we're talking about something that's belonging to me. Okay, no matter what sex you are, no matter what gender you are, it's just my whatever, my pen, my house, my cat, my brother, my sister. We want to, what I'm using here is I'm using nouns. Okay, so like my person, place or thing. So when we want to use my noun, we must add a shavu to that word. Okay, so my house, chalk is usually spelled T-E-A-C-H, but if it's my house, we put mo in front of it for my, and then we're adding a h to the word. So mo hiak, T-H-E-A-C-H. My cat, cot is C-A-I-T. Okay, but if it's mo hot, okay, because we have mo in front of the word representing my, and then we're adding a shavu. My brother, Draher, and Drafor, okay, my brother and my sister, something that you'd use very regularly in the um, oral exam, all right? Mota, um, Tommy Mokoni, Lim of Am, my dad, Agus Mograher, and Mograher would be a pure prime example of that. It's Mo plus the Shevu again. Mo Yerhar, Mograher, okay? So we have the H, Mo plus Shevu, that's the most important thing that we're finding now here. And for do, it's pretty much the exactly the same root. Okay, we're adding a shavu. It's do no matter. Like, once again, it doesn't matter if you're a boy, if you're a girl, if you're talking about your something. Okay, so if I'm not, I'm not talking about. I don't own it, but you own it. Okay, so once again, I don't own it, you own it. Okay, I'm not, I'm not talking about he owns it or she owns it. I'm talking about you. Okay, I don't care what sex you are, if you're a boy or a girl. I'm talking about you. Okay, so your sister the refor, your bottle the vodel, your leg the hus. Your shoes, the Vroga. Okay, so we have the Do plus the Shevu once again. We see here. Okay, if I just break out my pen here, we have the Do, August, the Shevu. So if you look down, Do Vroga, the Cosa, the Vodel, the Grafor. Okay, really important that we're seeing this link. Do plus Shevu, Do plus Shevu, Do plus Shevu, Do plus Shevu. Now, when we want, so to say his and to say hers and also to say theirs, we use one letter and that's a. Okay. And one of the most important things and what catches a lot of people is when they're using a, they're like, how am I supposed to tell the difference between a boy, a girl, or their? Okay. And it's actually really simple once you realize the rule. Okay. So when we want to say his noun, so when we want to say his noun, we must add a shavu to that word. Okay, a is also how you say her noun, but because there's a h in his noun, we can distinguish between a boy and a girl. So because, if I just underline here, because there is a h after his noun, we can distinguish between a boy and a girl. Okay, so his window, a inug, his mother, a vaher, his dad, a yad. Okay, we're seeing the a plus the shavu here, a plus the shavu here and a plus the shavu here. Okay, it's really, really important that we know 
that we're seeing the a and the shevu here, here, and here for his window, his mother, his dad. Okay. If it was a girl, we want to say her window. What we will be doing is we will be get rid of, getting rid of the h and it'll just be a funog, or the h here for a mother, her mother, or a dad. So you'll see that on the next slide here. Okay, so when we want to say her noun, we do not add a shevu to that word. This is how we can distinguish between a boy and a girl. Her friend, a kara, nothing here. Her head, a kion, no h, it's just a kion. A kus, her leg, no h here. A sula, no h here. There's no shevu after any of these words. A plus fwak. Okay, and the best way to remind to remind you of fwak is fwak all, as in like fek all. Okay, there's nothing there. There's just a plus fwak, a plus nothing, no change. It's just a plus that word. Okay, if it's her house, a chak. Her brother, a drahar. Her sister, a drifwar. Now, if you're a female and you're saying my something, just because you're a female, it doesn't change. It's still ma hot with the h. Okay, we're only using a plus whack if we're speaking about her. Okay, I'm not talking about me, I'm not talking about you, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about her. And because we're talking about her, we do not change anything. So just our rules so far summarized, and the best way to do it is kind of like in a rhyme. So mo plus shevu, do plus shevu, a plus shevu, a plus whack. Now what you'll notice is that all of these I can just do my little line here. Yeah, all of these are singular. Okay, they're all one person. Okay, I'm probably faster saying it than writing it. Okay, but these are all singular people. We're not talking about multiple people yet. And this and that is when things get a bit different. Okay, but the most important thing that we'll realize is mo plus shevu, do plus shevu, a plus shevu, a plus whack. A plus shavu is for his. A plus whack is obviously for her. Okay, so if any questions at all throughout this video, just send me a DM, put it into my comment, put it into the comment section, in the YouTube video, whatever suits. But the most important thing is that you kind of, if you, if nothing is, if it's not clear enough for you, just let me know and I'll help you any way that I can. Now we have exceptions, okay, and the exceptions are really, really important, and these are things that you just need to know. So if a word begins with a vowel, there's a different set of rules that will follow up short, that will show up later on, okay. So in a few slides, I'm going to go through um, nouns that begin with vowels. <coughs> we are adding shavus or arus to all nouns that begin with a consonant, except words begin with L, N, and R. It's extremely challenging to say a word beginning with those three letters with a shavu. So try to give these three a go. So we have a word like lower. Okay, try to say lower with a H. Okay, we're emphasizing the H here, here, and here. Lahower, rohor, niacht. Okay, very, very difficult to say lahower, rohor, niacht, nahat. Okay, I can't, I can't do it myself. So sometimes what can kind of give it away is that like, if you write it down, you're like, first of all, that doesn't look right. If you look at our tree here, our tree examples, lahower, rohor, and nahat, what you will notice is that they don't look right at all. Okay, secondly, if you try to say the word with a shavu, it just doesn't it just doesn't look right at all and like you can't it's very difficult to pronounce. So that's something just to keep in mind. Okay, so from here, when we're talking about something that's owned by multiple people, so for, depending on what part of the country, so I will always say year. So if we're talking about our, something belonging to us, okay, something belonging to all of ye, okay, or yous, or you, whatever way you want to say, I will always say ye. So I'm just for this, for the purposes of this, I'm going to say year, okay, or there. Um, the rules change. So we add an arrow to these cases instead of a shave. So if we're talking about our something, our parents, for example, our dish mahori, so our plus aru, our car, our gar, our, our cat, our got, and our pen, our bill. So like what we'll see here is 
that we're saying r plus aru r plus aru so we have here plus aru r plus aru here r plus aru here and we have r down here okay so most importantly we have the a fada don't forget about the fada in r okay so our pen our car our cat our pen and we have all our arus here r plus r okay so multiple multiple people owning something and we're adding an r to it okay and then we have vor for year your use all of you own it if you want if you're from dublin or some people in wexford and um, so if we're talking about something that isn't belong to all of ye so if we're talking about something that is belonging to all of ye then we also add an r because multiple people own that thing your cat vor got your room vor model or sorry that should be your bottle my apologies um your house vor jack your car vor gar your boat vor mod again we see here four plus aru 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 but also something you'll notice that is a very common mistake is that there is no fada on the u okay so there is no fada on the u here and that's something to keep in mind we have that u no fada just b h u r and it's talk about all of you all of you just we don't i don't we don't own it as if best example would be like if i'm a teacher i'm speaking to all of you not speaking about all of us i'm speaking just to all of you so that's just something just to keep in mind and then we have a ah. once again we're talking about there so this is the third time a ah has come up in the idea of talavok we add a ah plus shavu for a boy a ah plus nothing for a girl and now when we speak about something belonging to them we use a ah plus aru these subtle changes to the words help us distinguish between the three as. So, his door, a horus. Her door, a doris. Their door, a plus aru, a norus. His pen, a fion. Her pen, a pion. Their pen, a bion. And their shoes, his shoes, a broga. Her shoes, a broga. Their shoes, a broga once again we see the aru here okay so how do i know what aru to use really really common question and this can be challenging at times but i would always recommend that you write it down first on the side on the side of a sheet and try to say the word and also look at it and see if it looks correct to you you could also learn them off there are very few letters that take an aru so m before b g before c n before d bh before f N before G, B before P, D before T, and N dash before vowels. Okay, so an example is Armala, Vorgofra, and Norris, and Winog, Armyata, Vorbion, and Dishbahori, or Nunkel, or R19, or R Nahar. All right, so there's your examples. Um, there's so many rhymes, everything like that, whatever way suits you, whatever way it gets into your head. It's just something to work on and make sure that you kind of remember and practice. Okay, so the question is, what um, what if we own something beginning with a vowel? So as a rule, it is very rare that two vowels would come together in Irish. Uh, there's usually a barrier um, between the two vowels coming together. So when we've been speaking about possessions, especially um, in regards to um, singular possessions, moto um, ana almost go in front of a noun begin with the vote so therefore the rule needs to change for that okay so mo gota my so my vote okay so my noun begin with the vote so it's mo plus gota so mo aher what you will notice here okay so i'm just going to get out my pen again what you'll notice is that there's the o and the a are coming together so we have two vowels coming across here mo aher Okay, you will notice that there's two vowels coming together uh, in the word outline, and this is wrong. So we cannot say ma'ar. What you must do is we must remove the o. Okay, so we remove the o from mo and replace it with an apostrophe. So now, when we want to say my father, it is no longer ma'ar. 
Okay, it's no longer this O and A coming together. It is no matter. So what you'll notice is the, sorry there now, I'll just rub this out. What we'll notice here is we're seeing this M apostrophe and it's replacing the O in mo. Same with Mook, Dorota, Marigid, Maher, Mantine, and so on and so forth. The same rule applies for Do, okay, so your gutta. Uh, because the vowels are coming together with Do, Uncle, for example, we must follow the same rules. The O in Do is replaced by an apostrophe, Do, Uncle, okay, once again, we have our O and our U coming together for Do, Uncle. And um, the uncle is now correct because we've removed the clash between the two vowels. Dioctorota, the apostrophe, the adin, the apostrophe, dochka, or keys, all of which are now replaced. The o is replaced by an apostrophe, and that stops our two vowels coming together. Now, once again, a, a, and a are all going to follow their own rules, and we're going to see that now. So, a plus gota, a is still used for his, hers, and theirs, but all three still have their own rules to tell them apart. For his possession, beginning with a vowel, you literally change nothing. No shavus, no arus, nothing. So, a aher, so the only time we're going to break that exception is here. We have two vowels coming together for here. A aher, a antin, a uncle, a uchtarota. We're seeing this a, the two vowels coming together. And this is how we're going to tell the difference between his his known beginning with a vowel and her known beginning with a vowel. It's just a, ah, and we're not changing anything. So in when we're talking about um, a known that's beginning with a consonant, um, we would be saying some, we would be adding a h. Okay, no, we're not adding a h. We're not doing anything for his known beginning with a vowel. Now, I always say, the way I would always teach this is girls need to be treated special, so therefore they have their own specific rule. So when we want to say her possession beginning with a vowel, we still put a before the word as usual. What changes is also we put a h in front of the word. Okay, so put a h in front of the word and we're still using that. So now we have a hanting, we need the a plus h, a hunkel, or a plus h and a haher. A plus H, and this is how we're going to tell the difference between his and hers once again. Is we're adding a shavu here. So when it was a constant word, A plus whack, no, that's beginning with a vowel, it's A plus H in front of the word, A hanting, and this H is providing the barrier between the two vowels coming together. And now move on to our next slide. So, what about our year and their vowel? Okay, the rules for these are very straightforward and fairly similar. We still add an uru for each of these things, but the one catch is the uru that we use is now always n dash. So now we're using the most common one is when you're in primary school, you will learn ar nahar, okay, the prayer. So we have ar nahar, vornunkel, anantin, anokraka, vornuktarota. We're still using our R, VOR, and A, but now we're just adding an N dash to each of them. Here, 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 and here, and now we're able to tell them all apart from each other. Okay, Gurmian Mogul, that's Galer. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. If you have any questions or anything like that, send me a DM, um, put it into the comment section on the YouTube page, and I'll help any way that I can. Gurmian Mogul, I'll get along before.